In this video, we're, we're using a very poorly adapted tool to test the convergence of this series. So the series is 1 over n factorial. If you already know about the ratio test, that's by far the easiest way to do this. But we can do it by direct comparison if we're willing to really get into the weeds on proving some things about factorials. So here's the plan. I want to show that 1 over n factorial has got to be less than 1 over n squared. And I hope that this seems clear that this should be true. Um, factorials grow enormously fast. n squared is, is not growing nearly as fast. So 1 over n factorial should be less than 1 over n squared at some point. It's just a matter of proving it. OK, so this inequality is equivalent. If I multiply both sides by n factorial, it's equivalent to saying that n factorial over n squared is greater than 1. So that's actually the expression that I'm going to investigate. We're going to try to show n factorial over n squared is greater than 1. At least if n is greater than some set point, we're going to hope that this is true from then on, which is all we need for, for the direct comparison. So let's expand the numerator. And we're going to cancel one factor of n. And I'm going to rewrite this in a bit of a curious way. All right, this is a really common thing to do with factorials when we're looking at convergence. We split off part of them and say, OK, I got the, the first two factors, n minus 1, n minus 2. The remaining portion there is n minus 3 factorial. Again, our goal here is to show that this whole thing is greater than 1. And if n is bigger than 4, certainly this piece would be bigger than 1. Can I show that that piece has to be bigger than 1? And if I multiply both sides of that by n, that's equivalent to showing the n minus 1 times n minus 2 must be bigger than n at some point. And this seems really promising, because that's like an n squared thing with a couple other terms in it. Of course, it's going to get bigger than n at some point. So to finish the proof, this is all equivalent to showing that n minus 1 times n minus 2 minus n is bigger than 0. And if I expand that, again, we don't know it's bigger than 0 yet. We're trying to prove it. I get n squared minus 4n plus 2, but that's n times n minus 4 plus 2. And that is certainly bigger than 0, provided that n is bigger than 4. In fact, is greater than 2, which is greater than 0. If n is greater than 4. So once we cross n equals 4, we know for sure that this expression is bigger than 0, which means n minus 1 times n minus 2 must be bigger than n, which means n minus 1 times n minus 2 over n must be bigger than 1, which means this expression has to be bigger than 1. And that was nothing more than n factorial over n squared being bigger than 1, which then shows 1 over n factorial is less than 1 over n squared. To complete the argument about the convergence of the series, I would say, now that I know 1 over n factorial is less than 1 over n squared, and I know that 1 over n squared series converges because that's a p series with p equals 2, therefore, the sum n equals 1 to infinity of 1 over n factorial converges as well. So notice there, this was another case where I didn't have that inequality relationship where 1 over n factorial is less than 1 over n squared until I crossed over some kind of cut point, n equals 4. And for convergence of a series, all that matters is what happens in the long run, not what happens in the first few terms. So that doesn't affect the proof.